Good afternoon everybody. Um, it's a shame I can't see you all in person but for those of you that don't know my name is Miss Hopwood um, and I'm now back in year four so it has been really nice to see some of you because I've been over in the infants for quite a while. Um, now my Zimbali is actually all about pirates because on the 19th of September apparently it is talk like a pirate day. Uh, two friends were having a game and they decided it would be rather funny to talk to each other in pirate voices and um, apparently it was a lot more fun and they were giving each other a lot more support so I thought today that I would find out a bit more about what these pirates are. So in our lovely new library I found a very interesting looking book. So I thought I would share some of the facts that I have found with you. So as long as there have been ships and trades, pirates have attacked and stolen from them. The word pirate comes from an ancient Greek word meaning someone who attacks ships. But different pirates have made their money in many ways, raiding villages, ransoming hostages and selling captives as slaves. While some might see pirates as brave explorers who stole gold from wealthy countries, they were also cruel thieves who terrorised the sea and killed thousands of innocent people. And we can see here the types of places where these pirates used to go, which countries they went to and what they used to take from them. Now, I was also interested in a particular part, meeting the pirate crew. Not every privateer wanted to give up their hard-earned treasure to be king or queen. Many privateers became pirates and they would attack these merchant ships around the Caribbean and they would keep all the gold themselves. So your crew mates. Now, although most pirates lived outside the law, life on the pirate ship was actually quite fair. They shared their rations equally, although the captain got slightly more. They voted on how and when to attack and they decided on a set of rules that everybody would follow. Um, if a pirate broke the rules or did something even worse, such as left the ship during battle, they would face a very nasty punishment from their crewmates. Pirate punishments included being marooned or even killed, although apparently no one was ever made to walk the plank. If pirates were caught by the law, they were locked up for life. So if you were marooned, it was an awful punishment of being left on an island with some food and some water. And often these marooned pirates would go mad with loneliness. And we can see here on this page some of the things they would be like. Um, now, as a girl, women weren't generally allowed on pirate ships as they were believed to bring bad luck. Can't believe that. But some female pirates managed to bend this rule because they dressed up like a man. They would cut their hair, they would wear loose clothing, and some of them managed to be on the pirate ship and part of the crew for many years. Now, attack. As soon as a ship was sighted, pirates would spring into action. They needed to guess the strength of the crew and the value of their cargo before deciding to attack we had if you were able to board an enemy ship. If a ship refused to surrender, the pirates would open fire with their cannons, being careful not to do too much damage in case the ship sank before they managed to steal all their treasure. Um, we also, because of all these fights, they often had a ship's surgeon. Now there is a stereotype of pirates that they have wooden legs and eye patches. And these are 100% true. Although pirates usually won their battles, they didn't escape unharmed and their wounds would often become infected. Now pirates were sometimes given the task of sawing off infected limbs as they didn't have a doctor on board. That sounds horrific. Now the last part of this book I want to share with you is actually we still have pirates now. There are modern day pirates. It's luckily quite rare, but there are still some pirates that operate off the east coast of Africa and the South China Sea. 
Now, unlike pirates of the past, who took to the seas for a life of excitement and sparkly treasure, modern pirates are usually men from, from places where they would need some more money. Their main targets were slow ships and tourist boats, which they would capture and held hostage until the ransom was received. So we can see here what it might be like and what they can do. Now, if you are interested in finding out more about these scary pirates, then like I said, this book can be found in our beautiful new library. Now, I thought I would share with you a couple of pirate poems that I found. Meet the pirates. Aboard the rocky pirate ship in the middle of the sea is a crafty crew of pirates who are useless as can be. There's Pirate Jim, who cannot swim, there's Pirate Kate, who can't navigate. There's Pirate Nick, who gets seasick. Pirate Dale, who cannot sail. Pirate Frank fell off the plank. And Pirate Meg has a broken peg leg. Pirate Pete has smelly feet. And Captain Lee can hardly see. So if you see these pirates shouting, Arr, ahoy, avast! You needn't start to worry their sailing days won't last. And then the last, last one I thought you might like. Percy the Pirate. When people think of pirates, they think of strapping men with cutlasses and whiskers and names like Jake or Ben. But Percy was a pirate, more fearsome than the rest, although he had no muscles or hairs upon his chest. For Percy's secret weapon, no brute could ever beat. He never was without his pair of smelly feet. When he was out marauding his foes, he would outfox by rapidly removing his boots and then his socks. And when he'd do a handstand and wave his feet aloft, and so upon the ozone, the whiff would gently waft. His victims' eyes would water, their noses, they would sniff. Then forcibly the fellows would catch the pungent whiff and failing down like nine pins, they'd all be knocked out cold. Then Percy would relieve them of jewellery and gold. Yes, Percy was the pirate no brute could ever beat, who owned a ton of treasure thanks to his smelly feet. And here we can see Percy the pirate. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about pirates. I'm sure you could find many pirate stories and more pirate poems. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I will see you around. Bye.